Hello, hello everyone, welcome back to another video. And today I'm going to be testing and reviewing Vitagene Health and Ancestry DNA testing. Does it work? Does it not? Let's find out together. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome back to another video. And like I mentioned before, today I'm going to be testing and reviewing Vitagene Health and Ancestry DNA testing. And this is actually the second time that I'm doing this video because I accidentally deleted the original video. But I wanted to show you guys basically on that video what comes inside this box. I just did the swapping like maybe about three days ago. So I'm still waiting for the test results to arrive. Hopefully in the last three to four weeks. It said on the site that it's gonna take around four to six weeks, but they might not do it a little earlier, I guess. I don't know. But let's let me show you what's inside the box before we get started with the rest of the video. Uh, so of course we have the box itself and then right inside of it it comes out kind of like an iPhone. Kind of like feel like it became famous because of that. Um, let me put this on the floor. And just like an iPhone, like a regular box, um, it does come with instructions and all that fun stuff. Uh, like I mentioned before, I already did testing, so some of the stuff in here is missing. And what is missing, you might be asking? Well, um, it came with two little tubes where you're supposed to put in your swaps. And then, of course, it comes with uh, two swaps, so you can actually use your saliva on, on inside your mouth. So it basically, is the instructions are very easy to follow. Um, let me open this up. This is actually harder than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> uh, there are seven steps. Honestly, there are, even though it says there are seven steps, for me, kind of feel like it was more like maybe four steps because basically the first one is just to register online. It just asks you for your basic information, kind of like your name, your date of birth, and of course, you are your email address so they can notify you when they have your test results. And then the second step is to swap the inside of your mouth. The third is to snap um, the, the swapping inside the tube and then to check the tube for like five seconds just to make sure everything nice and sealed. And then five to do it again because you gotta do two tubes. And then the six is to seal it in the package that it comes in. Of course, it comes with a paid chipping label so you can return this, <clears throat> you can return the swaps. And then the last one is to send it back. So it's very self-explanatory. Honestly, I think I did that like so quickly it was done like literally didn't take, it only took like a few minutes it wasn't too much and that's it that's all that comes in the box of course it comes with um then the other side the other envelope uh, comes with uh, information about your samples because everything has to be labeled so they know it's yours so you don't lose them in the mail or anything like that and that's about it so that's all i did for the beginning of this video i'm so sorry that i accidentally deleted the original swapping and all that stuff but honestly it wasn't really that bad it was just swap it swap 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 and just put it on the and ship it out and now we are waiting to see what the final results are honestly this whole thing has been so far so easy and i'm excited to see what the results are so let's wait for a few weeks and see what they are going to be <laughs> all right guys it's been now maybe a month four weeks and I finally got the results. So I'm going to be going over them and see what I got. I'm actually quite excited for this because I don't know what I'm going to see because I'm a little scared to find out exactly what I am DNA wise. So I have the portal right here. I logged in into it already and we're about to see what it pops up. So the first thing is the um, genetic traits. So let's send now what is in your genes. Okay. So the first thing is my diet traits. So it says my alcohol metabolism is normal, caffeine metabolism is low. What does that mean? As it tells you, caffeine metabolism is the rate at which your body processes caffeine. Based on the energy since research, people with your genetics process and eliminate caffeine from your body at a slower rate. This means that you may feel the effects of caffeine for a longer period of time. 
okay I'm a little confused about it because I do have my days where I feel like I do drink energetic drinks and they either take forever to hype me up or they just don't do it so interesting um, lactose intolerance increased likely I had a feeling uh, gluten sensitivity hmm. weight management increased likely okay carbohydrate metabolism slow omega-3 levels are low okay interesting it's, it's literally telling me like all I don't know if you can see it come on <laughs> like all the stuff that I am and that I need okay I'm interested all right now exercise and traits this is the one that I'm actually interested in too exercise effect on blood pressure effective what does that mean increased likelihood that exercise improves your blood pressure high blood pressure is a major risk factor I being told that I have blood pressure high blood pressure I have taken pills to moderate it and I'm good now but I still tend to be considered a watch just to be considered um, it's increased likelihood that exercise will improve their pressure so tell me they told me that I had to go to the gym <laughs> Building muscle strength. You are less likely to build muscle efficiency with strength training. Interesting. Exercise in weight loss, effective, muscle soreness, increased likelihood. I literally just went out this past weekend and um, we just did some hiking and some basic stuff. And believe me, I've been sore for the last two days. All right, micronutrient traits. Well, I'm happy to say that mostly the majority of these are low. So that means I'm going to need to start taking my vitamins a little more often. Because let's be honest, like sticking to taking your vitamins every day for some reason is like, unless you carry them with you all day, every day, everywhere you go, I probably will take them. But like, I'm not home most of the time. Like, it is so annoying. So if you can relate to that, just thumbs up this video or something. <laughs> all right now a skin trays skin trays okay i did not get that package well good to know all right so let me see what else do they have uh, okay and now the final one the one that i'll be waiting for a century ancestry one all right all right i'm going to screenshot this because i want to put it on this video somewhere over here oh exactly what I'm looking at all right so it says that I got the America I got 50% of America Europe I got 45 Middle East I got 3% and Asia I got 1% so that means all of you people that thought I was Asian this is my answer <laughs> I am 1% <laughs> which I'm surprised because I thought I was more than that I thought I was Korean or something okay let's see what we got all right so we have I'm screenshot this so you guys can see um, America we have North Central American South American North and Central American but that means I'm what's it called again um, black. Um, Native American I mean by the look I have right now yes <laughs> All right, what about Europe? So Europe, we have Averia, British Islands, and Southern East America. Averia, I think is the Spain, Portugal area before they divided, right? Yeah, Spain and Portugal, okay. Middle East. It's pointed out by Egypt, it says West Middle East. Primarily located in Jordan, Israel, Egypt, and Lebanon. Huh. No wonder I always been wanted to go to Egypt. Maybe my ancestors are trying to call me and go take over my throne because hello, like <laughs> I might be the king somewhere. Alright, Asia. So we have some Southeast Asia in Siberia. So we got Southern China, Philippines, okay, you can see that. And then we have some um, Northern West Russia. Okay, this is a very broad 
description okay well I going to say that from now on I might be Native American with some European so if we're really gonna start thinking about this for a second we're gonna have to take it back in time so that means Columbus might be my cup my uncle or something interesting I am I can't believe I am that I literally thought I was Asian hmm. <laughs> later do you know you know what this is kind of making me want to like have all my family take this DNA test and see what we all get and see we actually related. <laughs> because this is some interesting stuff okay all right so I am going to be going over this of myself read over it uh, read exactly each description uh, with the health the supplements the exercise and all the fun stuff but I'm really intrigued by how this DNA test actually can tell you so much about yourself some of the stuff I actually already kind of figured it out myself because I've been I'm 27 years old and I'm exercises I kind of feel like I know what works for me what doesn't work for me uh, etc but seeing it here like in my face and it will kind of like proving my point that I'm like you know what I was right I knew that didn't work out but with a lactose intolerance I said that I'm prone to be lactose intolerant and I do feel it when I'm you know drink milk have coffee and stuff like that creamers and I do feel uncomfortable after I have certain dairy items and so seeing it it makes me kind of like happy and really shift my brain to actually stick to um, different changes different a uh, different routine and I'm excited to actually incorporate this in my life from now on but yeah and especially the supplements I know I know I tend to be like take supplements and all that stuff but almost all the supplements are also different in volume um, and by volume in percentage or some may include some others etc but actually identifying the fact that I need what I need is making life so much easier and exercising as well I, I like the fact that it says you better by just sticking to a daily routine even if it's for a short amount of time that helps you more than doing like one training once a month type of situation which we kind of already know that but it's kind of really nice to see someone kind of like proving it like oh hey this is kind of like what we suggest you that you should do so it's really nice honestly I really appreciate this testing and for a hundred bucks Honestly, it's not that bad because I have seen others that just tells you about your ancestry history and that can go up to like $200. This is only $100 and it tells you all of that. So that is amazing in my perspective. So yeah, let's just finish up this video and see what my final thought is. <laughs> all right guys, as you guys saw, this test was definitely something that I really, really happy that I ended up doing and I definitely suggest all of you to try it out it was only $99 and it actually came out really quick only took around four weeks which I thought it was gonna be a long time but little did I know it kind of went by really quickly and yeah I would definitely suggest you guys try it out I definitely give this a thumbs up like I mentioned before I'm going to continue reading this and see what I was I find out about myself so if you are looking for someone if you are someone who's looking to find out more about yourself more about your health and all that stuff highly suggest this test all right guys that's it for now thank you so much for watching make sure you guys thumbs up this video subscribe for more videos like this and of course I will be posting more on HaviorTeast.com so that's it make sure you guys follow me on my social media accounts somewhere over here and that's it thank you so much for watching and i see you guys on my next video bye